The 8th Street Corridor has the distinction to be one of Washington's earliest bustling neighborhoods, home to the first DC Sears Roebuck and responsible for transporting millions of residents monthly on its streetcars in the late 1940s, 8th Street was a proud example of industry and pride. While seemingly unstoppable, the 1968 riots shattered 8th Street and left it in ruin. Perhaps worse than many other neighborhoods, this area would lay ignored and decayed until the turn of the century. But when 8th Street finally recovered, it did so in magnificent style. The resurrection began in 2002. The District of Columbia Office of Planning initiated a community-based effort led by former mayor Anthony Williams to revitalize the corridor. 8th Street was divided into three districts, the Urban Living District, the Central Retail District, and the Arts and Entertainment District. With purpose, direction, and commitment at its back, 8th Street once again flourished. The Atlas Theater was renovated as a dance studio and is now the anchor of the Atlas District. Live music venues like the Rock and Roll Hotel draw crowds, the annual H Street Festival continues to grow in popularity, and restaurants and bars such as the Argonaut, Dangerously Delicious Pies, H Street Country Club, Granville Moors, The Pug, and Sticky Rice have all joined in on the fun. Even Whole Foods has set up shop. DC's first crowdfunded retail real estate venture, Maketo, is located here as well. And in February of 2016, the DC streetcar was relaunched to service the H Street Benning Road line. Altogether, it's no surprise that Forbes magazine voted H Street the sixth most hipster place in America. <laughs>